This is just a quick message to say thank you for 2022. Uh, this is the first year that I've started this channel. Um, I hope 2022 was a good year for you. Um, I can say it was relatively good for me. Definitely had its ups and downs, but uh, one of the biggest ups is definitely this channel, creating this content, discovering these games and bringing this to you, starting these discussions. Uh, so I just wanna thank everyone for watching liking, subscribing, uh, commenting, and engaging in any way, whether it's the comments on the actual videos themselves or through other means on social media and Discord channels. So really appreciate that. I've got tons of great support along the way from designers and the viewers uh, and everyone. I think so far I've only got uh, one thumbs down on one video with no nasty comments. So I'm going to call that a win. Just to recap everything that I managed to accomplish in basically half a year, um, 2022, I started this in June. It was originally going to be a uh, playthrough solo of Red Flag over Paris. I even recorded a few of those and then thought, wait, hang on, am I actually doing this right? Do I actually understand the rules well enough? So I decided to do a rules teach video just as much for myself as for other people. I know there's some other folks that were still kind of scratching their heads around the rules. So when I spoke to Fred, he's like, yeah, it's great, let's do it. And even ran the script by him and everything. So off and running there. And so since then I've covered, you know, Red Flag over Paris, 1979, Revolution in Iran, Cuba Libra, and the Red Bernus. That's four countries covered over four continents. So geographically, it's a pretty diverse range. Um, all games within the past, um, the set in history is in the past 200 years or so. So hey, maybe I might dig a bit deeper and go a bit further in history uh, as I look at some more videos in 2023. Um, so I brought those four teach and history lesson videos to you. Um, I did a page turner video as well, which is me pairing some of my favorite history books with games. Uh, didn't quite get as much traction as I was expecting from that one, so hey, I may have to rethink that and, and what I do with that, change up that format a little bit, make it a bit more interesting and engaging, I guess. Uh, maybe get a bit of a book club panel going or something. So, so speaking of plans for 2023, well, there's gonna be more game tutorials. There's a lot of other games I wanna cover. Uh, there's some hints in this room on screen that you may see uh, just to give you a taste of what's to come. Uh, I wanna do the history lessons as well, but uh, I wanna keep the videos still pretty tight. So maybe I'll split the history lessons and the tutorials uh, separately in separate videos. Uh, you know, I don't wanna completely just have a strictly just a teach without some context though. So I gotta figure out what that's gonna look like, but definitely wanna do a bit of those deeper dives into the history as well. Also, I uh, wanted to do a series, or at least one video, on a critical look at board game art. Like the cards, the tokens, the boards, the maps, the player mats, what have you. Um, I think there's a really interesting discussions to be had around uh, what makes something look uh, pretty versus what makes something look visually useful, too. So uh, there's always a fine balance there. Um, you know, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, but I think there's some fundamentals that uh, a lot of us can probably agree on or not, but I think either way, it'll start some really interesting discussion there. Um, possibly one of the first things to do in the new year for me is I might have an interview lined up with a designer of a game I haven't covered yet. Uh, again, hint, hint, maybe on screen in the room here, still working on the details of that. But that's also going to lend itself to some other collaborations with some other uh, content creators around history games and conflict simulators. So stay tuned for that as well. Hope to see some cross-pollination between myself and some other channels that are out there. Um, as far as what I'm excited for for games, well, there's still a lot I need to go back to that uh, probably other people have discovered over the years that I'm just kind of getting into like the past couple years myself, but I already know what to look forward to as far as new releases coming in 2023. Uh, GMT's P500 has always got my attention, but I'm specifically excited for People Power in Vijay Nagara. Uh, People Power is hitting printers right now, I think, just at the end of 2022, so that's really exciting. You should see that one next, and then uh, Vijay Nagar coming down the road. And there's also a game coming out about the Palestinian Intifada during the 80s. Uh, the first Intifada uh, should see light of day early in 2023, I hope. It's already getting a bit of attention, raising a few eyebrows, but I've had the pleasure of playtesting that one early on, so I think you're really going to like that one when it comes out, too. Um, hoping to hear some rumblings about what's going on with Revolution Haiti. This is a game being developed by Damon Stone. Saw some early rumblings of it. Really excited about that history as well. So 
would love to explore that. Hopefully we can see some more news on where that one's at uh, in the new year. And of course, Land and Freedom is a one that's coming out with the Spanish Civil War. Specifically, it's kind of like a sort of semi-co-op, co competitive uh, type game where uh, you are all these different factions the uh, fighting the fascists uh, during the the rise of fascism during Spanish Civil War um, a lot of games right now coming out of the Spanish Civil War of all different you know uh, perspectives and narratives so really interesting time for that this one I've had a chance to play test that it is really neat really cool place one to three players anyway I don't want to give away too much about that but hopefully we'll see that one very soon in the new year too so that's basically it for me. Um, again, it's been a great year, just half a year so far. Four game videos under my belt. Gonna see hopefully lots more in 2023. Finding new techniques and new ways to do these videos too. So hopefully get more streamlined in the process. So really excited about that. I'm really excited to discover some new games along the way. So again, thanks for tuning in. I hope you had a great 2022. Have a happy new year. We have an amazing 2023 and I hope to see you at the table sometime in that year. Cheers.